Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm too busy today because I'm really trying my best to beautify this garden because as what I have said in my previous videos, we're gonna be making a short or simple celebration regarding the graduation of my two kids and I'm so happy that they graduated with honors. And this is the reason why I'm really motivated to make simple, you know, simple celebration in order to honor my two children. There's a new day that will come again It's so timely that our catfish is already big. Because one of the recipe that I'm going to offer to our visitors is this fried catfish. And this is the reason also that we are going to make the harvest. And this is also the normal activity in catfish farming which is called the sizing because all these are just siblings they are actually born on the same day they have the same age but some of them really have grown big these are three months old catfish and i would like to do the sizing i would like to get all the big ones in order to be fried during this the celebration and we will also transfer the smaller ones into another tank because I would like to utilize this tank for our baby catfish. Well, we have so many babies of this catfish right now and it's in the breeding tank. I'm set to release them in the new mud pond that we have here and I hope that the flood will no longer happen but I have in mind the measures on how to keep our catfish even during the time of flooding and this is by you know using the net and this is gonna be an exciting content in our future videos Very strong. Ouch. Yeah. See that? <laughs> I have seen some 20 pieces or 20 heads of catfish of the same size. It's big, actually. And this is only three months old. You cannot believe this. But only a few of them have grown this big because the normal size is just very small because they're only three months old and they are grown in the concrete tank. 
and we're gonna making this as one of the recipes in the party that we gonna celebrate. Well, in catfish farming, it's very essential to be able to to make a constant or what I mean regular sizing or segregation. This is the method wherein you get all the big ones because to give way to the smaller ones for the food because there is a, a competition and also there's a great tendency that these bigger ones if they're gonna go hungry they will eat the smaller ones anything that would fit in their mouth they will swallow it and these are monster fish actually and this is what we're doing right here and this is intended for just the consumption of the family you know this is a very small tank concrete tank that you can also use as the source of our your viand and this is the regular activity that we do we grow catfish in a clean tank and then we will make this as our viand and all of the members of the family are already catfish eaters because it's really very delicious we will not run out of food if we will just know the basics in farming. If you can grow your vegetables, you can grow your crops, and you can raise your, you know, your catfish, your fish, your animals, you will not go hungry. But the guiding principle is the basic, which is the care, the attention, and the kind of passion that you have for the farming activity. So I have here some 10 kilos of this big catfish and they are already a good viand for our visitors. Of course, I will add some more because we have here breeders that are not anymore usable because they're already very old. So we will get some of the biggest and then we will include them in the recipe. We have thrown in here some 300 and this is going to be an experimental thing because it's our first time to use the circular time for our catfish. And with this method of, you know, making this funnel type flooring with a, a drain pipe will enable us to, you know, get the sediments and the toxic waste out. Meaning that we can maintain the quality of the water that would promote the fast growth and good health of our fish. So we are removing the sediments and of course the toxic elements inside the pond by opening the gate valve and you will see that this, they are really very dirty and if this will not be removed this will be the you know the cause of the contamination of the water. So it's my practice to lift this air pump so that we will see them and we will feed them with this floating flakes so that we can see their skins. Of course, we will determine whether they have issues on their skins, the scales, like the gill flukes, the fin rats. We're regularly checking this and this system is working good for this goldfish. In fact, just this morning, I have drained, you know, 20% of the water and we were able to get the sediments that are already very smelly. I tried to test the water and it's really very toxic. Today, the water is already good because we have already removed the toxic elements and you will see the goldfish are really eating. You know, for us to be able to know the conditions of our fish is during the time of the feeding. If they're gonna eat, voraciously of course, 
then that's the indication that they are good and they are growing. And if you will see that they are defecating, of course, you can assume that they have developed a good digestive system attributed to the kind of water that they are in. Because if the water is good, they can digest their food and they can grow much, much better. The conditions of our Japanese koi are also good and they're eating a lot and they're already big, very visible already and the water is green but there's no issue about their health. So this is one of a kind and I would like to say that this is a milestone for me insofar as fish keeping is concerned. To be able to grow our fish in a small tank in a controlled environment with no hassle without worry whether they will become sick or they will be eaten by predators because they are in the controlled environment and they are growing fast and they are eating their food. So this is the kind of system that I would like to advocate. The funnel type, just easily open the gate bulb and make the water clean for our fish. So these are the things that we can share. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if it is your first time to stumble upon this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe because we are uploading videos regularly and these videos are informative, very challenging and encouraging videos. And I would like to see you in my next upload only here at Dexter's World.